Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So starting off with the daily, we do have a channel. We've got a channel break, and we've got a close above the break. Uh, what we don't have, though, is a close. I suppose we could maybe have it. Uh, just give me a sec. So I'm looking at this swing high here. Could be a close above that. You can see it's quite significant. But the problem is there. It's quite a, uh, come on, man. It's quite a wide zone. Okay, so you can see all these daily tails here. And uh, you can see where price has been battling to get through this area. And we'll have a look at that now in the lower time frames. Um, but this could very well be a flag break. And uh, basically that means we should be looking at something like that. But in order for that to play out, we need to clear this area of 1600, basically, or 16050. And we need to find support there on the daily before we start committing to a move like that. So uh, to start moving down through the time frames, you look at the three hour, a nice uh, bit of a, a nice pin bar there. As we pointed out yesterday, uh, we sort of gapped up above the, uh, the channel and uh, then sort of uh, got a little bit confused and then when the US opened we sort of rallied a bit. So um, yeah this is after market, after the actual market opened. Don't like the look of the oscillators on the three hour at the moment either. So uh, drilling down through the time frames. We do have what looks like a bit of a flag here. So you can see there's a flag but there's a couple of things on the go now so that was the trend line then we formed this flag and now we're moving up but we're kind of testing the bottom of the trend line look at the the oscillators as well now this is not looking that healthy so granted we could be forming a new trend line but often when this happens when we start breaking below a trend line and then start you know creeping up along it uh, and onto a level typically we we have some kind of a pullback so uh, delete that at the moment for me the DAX is clearly a, a, a sit on hands uh, until we get some structure and I'm going to put another level in down here which is pretty much down in this area at 15926 so I want to see a pullback I want to see a moving averages crossover it does look like it's starting to happen uh, but I want to see all the moving averages cross over at the moment so we don't have the 33 and the 66 crossing over and that's the one i'm looking for so that's the slow moving average crossover so if we don't get that it's not really an opportunity to buy for me at the moment um just having a look at the 15 minute just to see if there's anything different here so we do have the moving average crossover here on the 15 minutes in this double bottom area uh, we do have a gap down here on this level at 15926 the gap is right there uh, we have another little gap here and we have a it looks like a gap there a very small one i don't see anything further down uh so yeah i'm a bit skeptical jumping in at the moment yeah it's, you know the daily does look fairly interesting but when you break it down at the lower time frames this looks a little bit stressed so um, pay attention to 15926, see if we can pull back into that area, watch your oscillators on the 15 minute. Uh, if we can pull back here, that would be a fairly decent pullback, nice stop area, which would be this double bottom area. And then you're looking for a move back up, more than likely to take uh, 1600, sort of to test 1600 or 16050. So 1600 has been an area which uh, the sellers have come in pretty much most of last year. So it's going to be a massive area. Don't assume it. It's just going to break through. Uh, you know, logic dictates that it's more than likely going to reject it again and uh, move to the downside. Question is whether it's moving to the downside and creating a higher low, or whether it is just a little retracement before gathering steam to bump, to punch through. And the other thing is we've got some data today which may very well push it in one of the directions. So patience is key. Wait for the data. Keep pay attention to your structure. And uh, pay attention to your oscillators as well. Don't jump in long when you are grouped up here on the hour. Uh, the hour you can see the hour fluctuates quite a bit. Uh, you're looking for a level and you're looking for all the stars to be aligned before you're jumping in. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.